Hello and welcome, my name is Velenique. On my channel what I do is I test makeup for a mature skin. I don't know about you, but makeup that served me well when I was in my 20s and my 30s no longer serves me too well today. I'm now 50 and I am on the hunt for makeup that works really well on this mature skin. And in today's video, I have got some crackers. I have got some affordable new makeup that works really, really well on mature skin. So without any further chit chat, let's get into this video. Well, spring has definitely sprung here in South Africa, and I will say that when spring and summer rolls around, a whole lot of new products roll in, and it is so exciting to see new stuff. I love it. It's my favorite thing to do is shop, and shopping for makeup just makes my heart very, very happy. So in today's video, as I said, I've got some really good products that work well that are quite new to us. First up is going to be my brows. I found a great new one from Maybelline. This one is called the Super Lock brow glue um i quite enjoyed this i used this for the first time yesterday um it has a small little brush applicator which i find very very easy to use i've done my eye makeup as you can see i don't have new eye makeup for this video i have for more coming up there are some nice ones that have been released but that's not for today's video so as you can see this gel works really really nicely and it's so simple to use so what I found yesterday is that it dries down um, really nicely. It is quite hard when you touch it when it's dry, but it's not super crunchy and you're not at all aware of um, your brows at all. So here we go again on the other side. I just brush my brows the opposite direction. They look crazy like granddad brows. And then just up in shape. And there we go, that's both brows done. And I quite like the feathered look at the moment. Makes my heart happy. Um, and what I'll do once this is dry is I'll just fill in the gaps with a um, pencil a little later. Okay, so next new product to try is um, I have got a primer as well as a new foundation. But for the foundation, I'm going to pop that on first on one side so that you can have a look at what the coverage is and then we'll use the primer on the other side. So the new foundation, well actually it's not a foundation, it's a skin tint. And it is the new one by Wet n Wild. This one is called the Niacinamide Skin Tint. It has got 5% niacinamide in it, hyaluronic acid, as well as peony extract. I wore this yesterday and the day before. In fact, yesterday I recorded my application because yesterday was a very hot day here in Johannesburg. And today my filming day is a little bit cooler. So I wanted to see how well this worked. So after we've had a look to see what this looks like in natural light, I will show you the results of the wear test that I did yesterday. Right, it comes in a lovely glass bottle. It does have a dropper application, which is pretty much the same as what the L'Oreal Skin Tint is. Um, it is sheer to medium coverage and it is um, buildable. I got the color, um, which one did I get? I got it in light. It does have a slight fragrance. It smells a little bit like Play-Doh, which I think is very much on brand for the Wet n Wild foundations and skin tints. Pretty much every single Wet n Wild foundation and skin tint I have tried has got a very similar smell. It's not as strong as the Photo Finish, I think that's what it's called. Not as strong as that. What else can I tell you about this foundation? It has a soft satin glow, so it doesn't dry down matte. Um, very skin-like in its um, qualities and it's cruelty-free. So let's pop it on one side of the face and have a look and see. So I'm going to use a brush to blend in um, the side, so here we go. Here we go side by side. So for me, I actually really enjoy what the coverage looks like. It does say that it covers the redness and it has pretty much covered my rosy cheeks. And that really is not even with a full um, pump or a full squeeze um, on that side. So I actually quite enjoy what that looks like. Um, I love the fact that it looks like my skin. But you know me, I absolutely love a more medium coverage foundation. So now on this side, what I'm going to do is I'm going to prime the skin with a new primer that's come out. And it's this product here from um, Rimmel. This is called the Multitasker Better Than Filters. And it is a primer, highlighter, and glow booster. There are a lot of these like glowy 
primers that are on the market at the moment and I will say that of all of them that I've tried if you'd like to see a video on all of them let me know this one is my absolute favorite I love this one in fact I think this one I've actually worn by itself as well because it's not super glittery but it gives the most beautiful glow so this is how I've been using it um, let's just have a quiz quickly you can have a look this is what the applicator looks like and that is what The product looks like on so it just gives such a lovely barely there glass skin type look they come in different shades which is quite nice and i got the shade light medium 004 so how i've been doing it is i kind of just concentrated on the high points of my face so i will go from here a little bit on and just tiniest bit over here Using a brush, I just stamp that in. And there we go, that's what it looks like. Blended in, not quite a glazed donut, but I just love the beautiful glow that it gives. And I think for summer, it's just lovely. Right, so now I'm gonna pop our foundation on, on this side and I'm gonna use a dampened um, beauty sponge to blend it in. I don't think I've got enough here. So let's just take a tiny bit more. And let's pop that on. So there we go that's with one single application on and um, the glow booster on the side you can see it does definitely look like a little bit of something there so I think with what's left I'm just going to just cover up my little blemishes that are on the side here just to build that up a little bit well there we go that is now everything done it builds up very nicely i actually really like the coverage my absolute favorite skin tint has always been the l'oreal um, serum skin tint but i think that this one is definitely going to give it a run for its money i found that this product's um, color does not oxidize at all during the day whereas the skin the l'oreal product one does just a tiny tiny bit and i really do enjoy the color of this one it suits my skin tone really really well okay next one up is a um, cream blush so I've got a new cream blush from the she glam brand um, and oh this is such a lovely color which color did I get um, my color is terracotta and I have found this cream blush to be very easy to use um, so all I do is I take quite a small little brush and I pop it straight into my product like that and just stamp it on my skin I like the fact that I can build this shade up. I also find that you can't really make a mistake with um, this particular cream product. How lovely and natural does that look? I really do like this color. They have quite an extensive shade range. Their products are cruelty free and they have no heavy metals in them and they are super, super affordable. So if you do shop on Shein, give their products a, a go. I really do enjoy quite a few of She Glam's products. All right, let's do the other side. Okay, if you feel like your bronzer has gone a little bit ham and you want to just tone it down a little bit, then you can just take your sponge with whatever foundation or skin tint is left on it and just blend and soften lines, which I seem to have gone a bit ham. But that's what I quite like about this product. It's very easy to fix if you make a little mistake. Right. Okay, next one is going to be also from She Glam. I have really enjoyed this little one. It is a contour and a highlighter pen, but what I love is that it's just the skinniest little contour that you've ever seen. So what I've been using this product for is I have been using it to contour my nose like this. So I just draw two little skinny lines and just over on the tip of my nose and then to give my lips a fuller look this is how I've been contouring my lips I just go underneath and then 
on my Cupid's bow. And then using the highlighter, I go just on the bridge of my nose. And then I just will blend that up. And that just gives us very subtle fullness to my lips and a more defined nose. For my blush, I have got two beautiful new products. They are both from Maybelline. They are called Sun Kisser. And I chose the shades City Sizzle and Blazing Blush. And I have been using them together. They just are so exquisite. So let me show you what I've been doing. So what's lovely about these is that you actually don't really need a, a brush. Um, they just melt right into your skin. So I take the darker shade first and I pop that on. This one reminds me a little bit of the same color of, I did a review of a Dior foundation and in that foundation they gave me samples of, I think they call it the Glow Miser. And oh my gracious, that shade was insane. I think it was called Rosie or something like that. I'll link the video if you'd like to watch the video. Um, but this reminds me so much of that Dior blush. It's not even funny. And then what I do is I take the lighter blush, which is quite a candy pink, and then I pop that just in front of where the other one was. And then I just blend that into it as well. And I will say that these blushes, as beautiful and as subtle as they are. Oops. Have got incredible staying power throughout the day. How beautiful does that look? Alright, let's do the other side. Blush is done. What I've also done is I've popped a bit of concealer on. What I wanted to do is I wanted to show you how I use the little um, highlighter stick from She Glam to kind of disguise the hollows underneath my eyes. So I take my little stick and I just draw a little line where there's quite a bit of darkness on my inner corner and just on the inner corner and then just to give me a little bit of a lifted look I pop it on the outside of my eye and then just using my finger I then will blend that out. And that I feel gives me a softer look underneath my eye and then I'll just take a bit of powder and then I will just make sure that I set that. Other side. Last one up is a new mascara from Maybelline. This one is called Firework. Um, quite an interesting little wand. It looks like a little bullet actually. Quite pliable and soft, which is a little bit of something to get used to. I have worn this a couple of times. Uh, I do have quite oily eyelids. So for me, the first time I wore this with no primer on my eyelids, it transferred quite significantly. So I prime with a primer. This one is the one from Essence. I find with this um, mascara, if you're keen to try it, is that I wouldn't really go more than one dip in the product. The thicker you build it up, you are definitely going to get to transfer even with um, a primer on. But I say, but I'll say just with the one application, just one, sticking it one time in the pot, you get quite a nice um, look with your lashes. It gives them a very full and lengthened look. And um, so let me just show you. I always start with the tips of my lashes. I will also say that if you do mess this on your skin during your um, application, which 10 times out of 10, I usually do. Um, it is quite difficult to get off. You actually use, have to use a little bit of a makeup remover on a Q-tip to get it off. Uh, but I'm going to do my very, very best to just see if I don't mess today. I will also say that the formulation is quite a wet formula formulation. It does take quite a bit of time to dry down. Um, but you can really take your time, obviously. Um, I also find that if you do more than one coat, um, they do get quite clumpy, the old lashes. Here we go. That is one side done. It did take me a bit of time to sit and do my lashes to get them fanned out and look how I want them to look. I will say that I really do like how dramatic they look they look beautiful just takes a bit of time so this is not one that is a quick 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 and easy little 
one, two, three through and you're out the door. So this one does take a bit of time, I think because the formulation is so much wetter. So let me do the other side and then we'll have a look at what I've got for my lips. For my lips, I don't know if it is new or not. I um, have never tried anything from the Revolution brand. So I bought a lip liner and what looked like um, new lip glosses. I'm not too sure, as I say, if they are new. Um, I think out of all the products that I've bought, the lip glosses are a little bit of not my most favorite thing actually but i'll use them in the video so that you can see but i quite enjoy this lip liner it's lovely it's very very creamy um it is called mm. excuse the dog it is called satin kiss lip liner and i got the shade heart race so let's quickly line these old lips Okay, lips are lined so what I'm gonna do is I'm actually just gonna use an old favorite lipstick and this is the one by L'Oreal this is the shade um, worth it and it is called the intense volume matte I adore this shade I found it quite versatile and then I'm gonna pop one of the glasses over when I bought this particular shade I was hoping for like a little bit of a sheer coverage but this one I find um, is quite icy when you pop it on um, your lips but I will say that the consistency is very very nice with these glosses they're not at all sticky and they seem to last a long time I also got this one here I thought that this would be such a lovely color but um, this one doesn't have oops, much pigment at all um, it's quite a clear one so when I pop it on my lips it's kind of fades to nothing which is lovely for if that's what you want but I was hoping for something with a bit more color so I'm gonna just pop this on just to give a little bit of something something uh, I was actually thinking when I bought this particular shade which is called daydream pink that it would be a bit of a dupe for the Fenty um, fuchsia but um, you can see there is a massive color difference and this one's color is insane on the lips but not very affordable. Well, that is it. That is my face. Let's have a look and see what this looks like in natural light. Okay, here I am, natural light, and oh my gracious, my skin looks lovely. I will say that I am absolutely in love with this um, skin tint. My skin looks beautiful. I love the soft glow to it. It's supposed to also be a little bit of like a poreless finish, a very smoothing finish, and I do think that that's what it delivers. I am really impressed. Blush looks absolutely stunning. And um, yeah, I just think that it's a, a good makeup day today. So let's have a look at what the results were like from yesterday's nine hour wear test. I must say that I'm very impressed with the results from my wear test yesterday. Nine hours and the product was pretty much still on my skin. I love the fact that this does not stick into my lines. I love the fact that the product moves with my face. So Wet n Wild is available at Clicks here in South Africa and it was incredibly affordable, 250 Rand. I think it's a very good deal. It's cheaper than what the L'Oreal one is and I think next time I'll probably buy this one instead of the L'Oreal. I love the fact that the color doesn't oxidize and it stays on my face all day. Um, today what I've done is I've actually powdered my face as well and I just, I think it just looks stunning. I just really, really am very impressed with this little foundation. A really, really good buy. The liquid blush for me is also an absolute win for summer, 170 Rand each, um, I also think that's a pretty good deal. I love how simple and easy these ones are to use and these, this color combination for me is an absolute winner for the summertime. And um, What I will do is all the products that I've used I'll link in the description box below um, just so that you can, if you want to, you can go and have a look and see. And then what else did I quite enjoy? Um, I enjoyed the... Um, Mascara, also not a very expensive product. How much was that one? Let's have a swizzle and see. 
um, 215 Rand, so a little bit more expensive than what the blushes are. I think if you were on a very tight budget, I'd rather get the blush than the mascara. I think you can find maybe something a little better out there. Um, yeah, so there we go. That is what I absolutely loved. Oh my gracious, and this multitasker. I really did enjoy this. I love this one. Um, I actually saw another lady on Instagram. She did underpainting with her contour and blush and then popped something very similar over to see what it would look like. I think I'm going to try that with this and see what that looks like for one of those easy no makeup makeup days. But if you enjoy a primer, I definitely would recommend this one for the summertime. It's just divine. I love it. And it works pretty much under actually all of the foundations that I've tried. It's actually worked under. There hasn't been one that it's um, pulled or it's broken the foundation apart. So this really is a very nice little multitasker. Well, that is it. I hope that you enjoyed this video. If you did, won't you consider subscribing and joining our community? It would be so awesome to have you. And I will catch you in the next one. Bye.